Part 2 of Chapter 11's review discusses disordered eating. Uh, there are various definitions provided in your book and in your notes. Disordered eating is a sort of a catch-all generalized term which describes a variety of abnormal or atypical eating behaviors used to compensate for a poor body image. Body image is a person's perception of one's appearance. Uh, so body image is not how you look, it's how you feel you look. Okay? Uh, an eating disorder is a severe form of disordered eating uh, that is a clinically diagnosed uh, psychiatric disorder characterized by uh, uh, severe disturbances in, in body image and eating behaviors and includes uh, anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. Now, um, anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by starvation behavior. Bulimia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by binge eating followed by purging. Now, most people think of purging as induced vomiting, but can also include other things too, such as laxative abuse, diuretic abuse, uh, things like that. Um, be sure to read the book concerning uh, signs, symptoms, health risks. Uh, of course, these require professional uh, intervention. Muscle dysmorphia is only recently gotten attention even though it's been looked at for many years even before it had a name. Uh, sometimes it's nicknamed reverse anorexia nervosa. This is the situation where a person may feel uh, uh, like they're too thin um, even though they may be muscular and they'll do everything they can to gain more muscle even if um, it puts them at risk. So there's a section on that in, in your uh, book as well, and I've listed it along with the others because it does deserve to be on the list. So be sure to go over this information, um, and this concludes our view of Chapter 11.